Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Jacqueline Martin drove 400 miles from Fort Myers to Tallahassee to begin her junior year at FSU. Did you run any red lights? No. Are you sure? Yeah. If she had and a red light camera snapped a picture, she could receive a ticket in the mail. But even if she didn't, Jacqueline could still be solicited to pay a fine. That's because scammers are posing as police telling drivers they were caught on camera. I think that's really, really bad. Like, you shouldn't, like, trick people. Reports of emails from scammers in Texas and Maryland are beginning to surface asking people for personal information. Scammers are also calling drivers, telling them they have past due tickets and asking for banking information and a social security number to pay the bill. But don't fall for it. If you are caught running a red light, you'll receive a notice in the mail. It'll look something like this with picture proof of the violation. Sam Gilbert and Scott Gold say they didn't know how the tickets were issued and if they received an email or a phone call claiming they owed money. I would never question that and just pay it and go on. I would probably pay it. <laughs> Besides losing your money, responding to the fraudulent emails could also give scammers the green light to steal your identity. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.